Welcome to Beer with the Belgian. Uh, I'm Amanda and I'm here with another Belgian. This is Anthony. Anthony, Hi. tell us a little about yourself. Well, so as you know, my name is Anthony. I live in West Mallen, which shouldn't be strange that I'm bringing my own West Mallen. I actually live about 200 meters from a brewery. Um, which you cannot visit, by the way. You so can't visit the brewery. You cannot visit the brewery, it's completely closed to the public. So you can't, even if you scheduled online, like I want to do a tour? No, nope. you're, nope. you're not having any, uh, any visitors. Interesting, okay. Unfortunately. But we should feel lucky then that we can have this beer. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I lived there for almost uh, 10 years now. Um, I'm married to a wonderful woman. Yes, I've met her before. She's very cool. I have a daughter of 10, another wonderful woman. Yeah, also very cool. But yeah. she, she likes my partner, so I don't know. We're going to She's going to eventually, room. That's true. We're That's eventually going to fight. We have, we're going to have to fight. That's correct. You with your room and I with your room. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get cracking. Tell me a little bit about the beer while I'm opening mine up. Yes, so actually Westmala is a, is a trappist. Uh, we also call it a double. And I think you should be proud. I was scouring the, the cabinets and we happen to have a Westmala trappist. I would have refused this, <laughs> uh, this YouTube show if you didn't have the right glass. So we will not show that I'm drinking out of a leather glass. No, better. So maybe also important is that uh, West Malle actually is um, on the parking lot of Antwerp. What is it? What in Belgium? And of it? course, what yeah. isn't? But I think it's important to give this extra information. But I actually like the parking lot. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Skull. Prost. Skull. Skull. So maybe interesting to know what is the difference between double and triple. In fact, double means you're just using double of grain, which means more sugar, mm -hmm. which means more alcohol, and a slightly uh, a more uh, sweet, sweeter taste. Yeah. Triple just means even more, more. <laughs> even more, <so>. even more sweet, <laughs> exactly. even more alcoholic. Right. That, that could explain why a triple caramel leaf makes me want to take a nap. Oh yes, <laughs> even after half a glass for myself. But okay. <laughs> so. Realistically, how many West Mall Chuckies can you drink before you start to feel the effects? Depends. I feel it after two. And the problem is that after two, I think I can handle ten. <laughs> and yeah. what about the pinches? Pinches is just more easy for me. Then I can handle quite well. But uh, these, these heavier beers, I'm not a... I'm not a hero in it, I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really strange for me when I first moved from the, the US because the U.S. alcohols are usually a lot less in beers mm -hmm. than it is in How much is it? Four percent okay, probably. Well. Yeah. Three percent on some of the lighter ones. Yeah. So when I, when I go back uh, home, I do feel like a hero. Yeah. We do not call that beer. Yeah. You, what, water? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Hot water? Hot water, right. And normally you're more of a wine drinker than a beer drinker, or you do like yes. both? I do like both, but I actually only drink beer in two situations. One is when I'm looking at the cycling and secondly when I'm going to festivals, which you definitely should do when you come to Belgium. Okay, that leads me right to my next question. I was going to ask if someone is visiting Belgium, what is something that they should try to do? Depends on what you like, of course, but I am a, a music uh, a passionate, so uh, I would certainly, certainly uh, recommend to go to a, to a festival if you're coming in summertime at least. Mm -hmm. Uh, Belgium counts a lot of festivals. I think every town has its own. Yeah. Some are bigger, some are smaller, some are fun, some are not. But of course, you can always uh, inform yourself that there's a lot to do. Do you have a favorite Belgian band? Belgian band? I was expecting another question. <laughs> um, I think uh, my favorite Belgian band will be Balthazar, mm -hmm. uh, which I really like. Besides that, we have a lot. We have yeah, so many true. good music in Belgium. Um, but again, there we can maybe have another YouTube show <laughs> and talk about music. Besides that, of course, you have the city of Antwerp, the city of, uh, of Ghent, uh, Brussels, uh, the southern part of Belgium is also very nice. It's more nature, of mm -hmm. course, than, uh, than the north, where it's more uh, a city environment. Uh, we have a lot to offer. Really it's very lot. true. Yeah. For such a small country, there's like a lot of diverse exactly. terrain. There's a lot of, even languages, there's a lot of uh, diversity. You cannot imagine how many dialects we have yeah. for such a small, uh, small country, that's correct. 
So last question, and it's very important for these tourists of Belgium. What is a word or phrase that you think would be helpful for like a foreigner to know that helps them get by in the country? Well, if you're coming to Belgium and you're going to a festival, I think a very important phrase you need to know is what is a bonnetje stop? Which actually means where is a ticket counter? And yeah. not the entry ticket, but the drinking. Yes, that, that's also <laughs> true. I don't, it's not true. Um, everywhere else in the world, but usually if you're at a festival or concert in Belgium, uh, you have to buy little tokens ahead of yeah, time, exactly. or tickets, exactly. uh, and that's used for food and drink and everything, and right. they're very unique to the concert. Right, and then the only thing that rests is a pincha, I should believe, <laughs> and the rest will go fry itself. Just one pincha? Ah, depends. <laughs> Alright, well instead of a pincha, we will have a West Mall triple. Thank you. Not Cheers. triple, trapeze. This is a trapeze. This is, yeah. Careful. Yeah. careful. <laughs> I won't be on the floor after this one. No, you won't. But we'll stick it by one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think we're doing good so far. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you feel good? I'm it's nervous. Good. Nervous as hell, but okay. <laughs>